Hey guys, it is Sunday, the Sunday before Christmas, just one week away from having so much fun with friends and family. And in case you can't tell, I've been sneezing for the past hour because I've been cleaning my apartment and I am allergic to dust, so this is why I sound so, so lovely. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but basically, this week, I needed a quick video idea, to be honest. I just... I, it's been a busy week, and also I needed a quick meal idea, so I thought I would combine the both. So last week I came up with this idea for a soup because it was really cold outside and I wanted some comfort food, but I needed to stick to my meal plan because otherwise, you know, the next few weeks are just going to be not meal plan friendly. So <laughs> I knew I had to make a quick effort. So I came up with this idea to combine the protein that I needed to eat and the carbs uh, after a workout that I needed to eat also into a soup. So I came up with this really good soup idea. It tastes amazing and so uh, let me show you how I did it. So the idea for this soup came about when I had some ground beef leftovers. Basically ground beef and rice are staples in my diet. I have them always in the fridge. I basically cook them in bulk and then I store them in containers. So if you don't have these you're gonna have to make these first so you just kind of cook some meat with some onions and then cook some rice and then you're good to go. So this soup really is the easiest to make when you have these two things prepared but it's also easy to prepare those two things so it's not like it's a huge effort anyway. But basically I've already pre-measured my protein. It usually comes in this container right here. Um, I'm gonna put some rice, I'm gonna measure out some rice and then I'm gonna mix it with this secret ingredient right here. This is a vegan, uh, I think it's vegan? It's a non-dairy version of creamy tomato soup. It's some. It's one of my favorites. I used to have this as a kid. Um, it kind of reminds me of alphabet soup. It's just really good. And there's no dairy in it, so I can totally digest it. And sometimes when I make these meals, I technically have to mix them with vegetables. I don't always feel like eating vegetables, so I figure this will be my vegetables. Yeah, be my vegetable. Can we take just a second though to appreciate the awesomeness of this shirt that I just bought? It's got little tiny Boston Terriers on top. Or is that a French Bulldog? I, I don't know. Some of them look the same. But anyway, I basically have the fashion sense of a six-year-old today, but it's just, it's so cute. Okay, back to regular programming. So once I've measured out this stuff and uh, I've decided how many carbs I want, Today it's going to be one of those I'm going to eye my carbs because I don't remember how many carbs I'm supposed to have. So I just kind of throw some rice in there as well. You can use as much or as little as you want. You can add as many or as little vegetables as you want. Um, this is really just me being extremely lazy. Just so you know, this is me being fucking lazy. So now that I've added all the rice and meat in here, I am going to measure out my soup. I'm going to measure one cup and uh, stick it in the microwave. Obviously we're not using all of this today, so I just stick it back in the fridge and use it a few times a week because if you know me by now, you know that I eat the same thing over and over again, all week long, and it suits me just fine because that's how nutrition should be. It shouldn't always be about enjoyment. It kind of has to be about fuel too, unfortunately. So this is what my soup looks like right now. So I'm just going to mix it. I haven't put it in the microwave yet, but I kind of want to get it all over the nice bits and pieces um, before I stick it in there because I figure otherwise it's just going to heat funny. Um, and by no means am I trying to make this pretty, as you can see. It's just, it's all about the goodness. Who cares what it looks like? And then you wait patiently for it to microwave for one minute and then you stir it, and then you microwave it again if you have to. It's as simple as that. I mean, if you don't have a microwave, you can always use a saucepan. I'm just, I'm really, really, really happy with my microwave, I have to say. So when it comes out, it looks this beautiful, beautiful color that reminds me of alphabet soup or whatever other canned stuff I was eating as a kid. And it just, it tastes real good. I know you want to have some. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Shortest vlog ever. <laughs> but basically this soup is like the one thing I've been eating so often lately. It's just so easy. When I get home from the gym after like two hours of training, it's like, 
8 something p.m. I have to eat dinner, I have to, you know, shower, have to eat my bedtime meal, I just, I don't have time to think. And so this is like the next best thing to an actually home-cooked meal um, that I found that makes me very, very happy and keeps me warm and keeps me healthy. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. If you thought it was boring, just tell me in the comments. I'll, I won't do it again. <laughs> but maybe this recipe will actually live on my website. I know that um, it, you guys usually find them on my blog. Sometimes I'll make videos and put recipes in here. Um, tell, me, tell me what format you prefer. Tell me if you want to see this as an actual blog post. And uh, you know, remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's how you see my videos first. And I will see you guys maybe next week. If I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh, excuse me. Someone wanted to show you that she got a haircut for Christmas. And she looks fabulous. Oh, yes, you do. Look at you. Oh, my God. I can't handle it. <gasps> oh, this new crazy mother...